So the gospel, so the three gospels again. Matthew, Mark, Luke are called synoptic. La nang S. The same presentation. The next gospel is the Gospel of John. This three focuses on they they presented Jesus coming from human side. May kapanganakan si Jesus. Ipinanganak siya. The Gospel of John is focuses on divinity. Or the deity. These three are more on human humanity. Again, why? Why why John focuses too much on the divinity? Because that is the need of the community, his readers. Uh, mukhang low Christology, low Christology ang ang community ni John. Nagdadaut sila sa divinity sa deity ni Jesus. So and therefore, John presented uh, the gospel, his gospel to the community who are doubting. So his purpose is in, in, the purpose of John is to to believe. in the Son of God. For them to believe. Oh, for them to believe. To believe in the Son of God, Jesus. In order for them This is clear. This gospel was written so that you believe in the Son of God so that you will be saved. So another perspective, another presentation. If Luke encourages us to develop our uh, love for God and for the people who are practically and marginalized in the society, now the gospel of John was written to encourage his readers to believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Tignan nyo yung presentation niya. Sa Matthew, may birth, di ba? He was born. His, his mother is Mary. Uh, Ganun-ganun, may mga lahi, may mga pinagmulan si Jesus. Sa Gospel of Luke, the same. Pagdating sa Gospel of John, wala siyang kapanganakan. Ano ang sabi? He is the... Ang sabi doon, In the beginning was the Word. And the Word was with God. And the Word was God. It, the insistence is that Jesus has no beginning. From eternity to eternity. It means Christ is the eternal Son of God. And the purpose of John is for them to believe so that they will be saved. That is important. Uh, maganda yung presentation ni, ni John, ano? Dahil si John, ang, ang pagpipresent niya kay Jesus, kaya hindi siya kasali sa synoptic. Uh, yung kanya ay nakapokus masyaso sa divine side ni Jesus. That Jesus is the eternal Son of God. Basahin natin yung early chapter ng chapter 1. The, the, ang tawag dyan ay the prologue. Kasi chapter 2 hanggang chapter 12, Jesus is talking to the uh, ano nga yan eh? May magandang outline nandiyan eh. Chapter 1, they call it the prologue, ano? And then, chapter 2, up to chapter 12, the public ministry. And then, chapter, chapter 13 to chapter 17, private ministry. And then, 18 to 20, very personal. 21, the resurrection. 
So chapter 1, let's see chapter 1 verses 1 to 5. Uh, kahit 1 to 7, kindly read. Saan ba tayo tumigil kanina? Please read. Okay. Uh, let me show you the, the beauty of. Wag nyo na tong isulat Greek ito. Pero I am writing this not to impress you, but uh, the emphasis if is highly theological. Chapter one. Uh, I, uh, the very purpose of writing this is to let you know the eternality of the, the Son of God, the Logos. He is the Logos. The Logos uh, is the Son of God. Because in chapter 1, verse 14, the Logos became flesh. The eternal Son of God became flesh. Uh, so, uh, the beauty of Greek language, the beauty of European language, not just Greek. In European language, normally, uh, meron silang di tatlong definite article. Unlike English, ang English kasi parang Pilipino, di ba? Uh, isa yung sa English, D. And we can use this. English people will use it for masculine, for feminine, and for neuter. Di ba? Sa ta tayo ding Pilipino, di ba? Ang. Kahit sa ano yan, ano? Babae, lalaki, bagay, ano mga ano, ang ata, ang, ang babae, ang lalaki, ang aso, ang tao, wala ang na yan. Sa, sa Greek, meron silang pang masculine. Pang masculine, so the ho, the he, and the to. Sa German, der didas yan eh. Der didas. Masculine, feminine. Basta European language, meron sil they, Even Spanish, di ba? La, la mesa, di ba? La. Tsaka, alam niya yan, Spanish, inabot, yung, yung iba sa atin umabot dyan. Ako hindi ako umabot dyan eh. Na required mag-take ng Spanish. Pero alam natin yung, the, the beauty, ang ano dito, example, you are talking to Iglesia ni Cristo, literally, the meaning of this is that the, the Son of God, the Logos, is God. Whether the position is attributive man yan, o, pero mayroong verb eh. That verb insists that this is a statement telling us that the, that, the, that the world, who is actually Jesus, the Son of God, who became blessed, is God. Not rejected now. This, this one, this one is the adverb of eternal eternity. If, ja, if Genesis 1.1, 1, 1, ang sabi ng Genesis 1.1, 1, 1, in the beginning... O, oh, bara Elohim. Bereshit bara Elohim. In the beginning, Elohim, God, created the heavens and the earth. When was that beginning? Merong time, di ba? It simply means that in, in Genesis 1.1, one, one, the author is talking about the beginning when God begins to create. Definite yung time. This one, the time is not definite. What is this beginning? It is considered, ito translated ito, in the beginning, in RK. To insist to us that the author is telling the, the, the readers that, hey, the Son of God is eternal. He has no beginning. 
So the NRK, in the beginning, the author is talking about the beginning of no beginning. The eternity. The eternality. It means the Son of God, Jesus, is eternal. When He became flesh, He was born. But the Son of God is there already, even before the creation of the world. Diba? Ano sabi doon? Without Him, nothing that has been made was made. Walang malilika, walang nalika kung wala siya. So nasan si Jesus? Nung pinanganak lang ba siya nag-exist? O even before? Even before. That is our doctrine. That the Son of God is eternal. Co-eternal with the Father. Co-eternal with the Spirit. Di ba? Kahit nung Genesis, eh, nung kausap nung sabi ni God, let us make man. Wala namang nagsasabi na let us na nag-iisa. Ano? Parang kang hilo nun. Ano? Mag-isa ka lang sa bahay, gala tayo. <laughs> ano, nakatingin ka sa salamin. <laughs> Tapos pumayag ba yung salamin? <laughs> Hindi. When you say let us, you are to talking to other. And, and when, God, when God said, let us make man in our image, God is talking to someone who is in his own image, who is the same image with him, in our image. Who is that? John 1, 1, John chapter 1, 1 to 7, at least, that passage proves to us that Jesus is eternal. He was with God when God created the heavens and the earth. And therefore, Jesus was actually co-creator with the Father. Because ang sabi dyan, walang nalika ng hindi dahil sa Kanya. Without Him, nothing that has been made was made. So, John is proving to his readers that the Son of God is eternal. He has no beginning. He goes beyond time. Kaya nga, yung isang sa systematic theology minsan, sinasabi na God is infinite. But the infinity is space. But when we say God is eternal, it talks about time. The eternity. Eternity. God is not bound by Time. Okay. What makes it different from the gospel? Uh, focuses too much. Uh, uh, John focuses too much on the divine side, the the, the deity, the deity of the deity of Jesus. So deity, ang emphasis ng gospel of John. How he proves that Jesus has deity? Look at in in the gospel of John. What makes it so different is that. Okay, yung dating muna, it was probably written 85. Hey, something new. John wrote his gospel after 50 years. More than 50 years of Jesus' actual ministry. Was he able to remember? <laughs> Can you remember what I'm saying today after two weeks? <laughs> How come... John was able to remember, or is it the oral tradition and the, the writings? There are available documents already about Jesus. And John wrote, after 50 years, more than 50 years, how come he was able to remember the events? Later, no, 50, 50, after 50 years. Why it is necessary for them to write? Because they are passing away. By the, probably by the guidance of the Holy Spirit because the apostles are aware that they are dying, that the other apostles are already dying, they need to come up with a clear record about Jesus so that the next generation, including us, will have enough information, at least good information. If it is not complete, we do not know, but enough information for us to know who is God and how we should serve him and believe in him so at least that, that's the clear that's clear 
matanda na nito si John, ano? If John is kasabayan ni Jesus, contemporary ni Jesus, probably ganyan na siyang edad. Eh, probably nung namatay siya eh, close to 100 years old. In the, in the island of Patmos, when he was exiled, and before he wrote the book of Revelation. Revelation.